and welcome to San Fran Fitness and to our Bounce to Assist Balance class. Today we are going to be moving around the rebounder, but we have got no knee raises, no leg kicks, nothing that is going to put you off balance. This is all about improving it. Now, as you can see, I have got the stability bar. If you don't have one, that doesn't matter. Please remember, just take things at your own pace. Keep your legs in a fairly wide stance so that this does help with your balance. We have got a circuit today. We're going to be working for 20 minutes with no breaks. Now, the idea of this is that on each move, we will be working for one minute and then it just flows straight into the next exercise. So if you have already done our plus size workouts and you want to see how your balance is, this is going to be a great workout to then progress onto. Okay, get yourself set up. I'm ready. I think the dogs are ready. Come and join me on this wonderful workout where we've got a little bit of classical pop as well. Okay, we are just going to begin here with a gentle rock side to side. Make sure that your feet are in that wide stance. If you've got your bar, your hands are lightly just relaxing. We don't want to tense up through the shoulders. We're thinking about our core, drawing in, keeping the knees nice and soft as we shift our weight side to side. So like I said in the introduction, we're going to be working for one minute and then we just flow straight into the next exercise. If you don't have your bar, please make sure that you use your arms and then this is going to help with your balance. Okay, so just a light movement, do whatever comes natural. Okay, our first move is going to be a double stomp. So look out for that little picture in the corner. So just stomping each side, one, two, one, two. an experienced rebounder then this class is great just to maybe use as a little warm-up maybe on those low days when you want to have a bit of a rest this will be another great one just to get that lymphatic system moving or maybe you're new to weights and you want to give those a try just a little one kilo add it in it's gonna make all that difference Ten seconds left. Okay, our next move, we're going to march it out and in, but we're going to alternate the leading leg. So we go out, in, other side. Good, right lead, left lead, excellent. Just working at 120 beats per minute today. So if you've done some of the plus size workouts, maybe bounce for restricted movement, this is a little bit quicker, but still very doable. It's always good to have something to progress to. Excellent. We're going to go for tap outs, each side four counts, and then we swap it over. So we go one, two, three, other side, and one, two, three, and change. Try not to look down at your feet. Good count. Rhythm flowing. And one, two, three, right. One, two, three, good. Use as much of your trampoline as you can. And we're going 
going to take these taps forward exactly the same. So we go one, two, three, and switch. Now did you see that instead of going back on that right leg, I just transitioned straight to the left. We're trying to keep things as even as we can. It doesn't matter, just do you. We're going to go for a walk forwards and back and then out to the side. So we go forward, back, side. Now I'm going to use my arms so that you can see. Just a little movement. Forward, back and side. Good. Forward, back. Then we've got little heel lifts and I'm going to give you the option to swing your arms. So no arms, heel, 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 heel. Arms, take a little swing. Now if you've got a bar, you may need to just move backwards just a fraction so that your hands don't hit the bar. Lift, 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 good. This is where you can get used to really pushing down through the mat. The more you push down, it's going to increase your workout for you. Work the legs a little bit harder. Excellent. Keep those heels lifting up. Great for the calf muscles, this one. I'm going to add those arms back in. Ten seconds left. And then we've just got a basic wide. Okay, basic. Now when I do a basic, I like to think about my feet coming up off the mat. My knees are still soft. I'm not locking them out straight. If you've got no bar, you can have a gentle swing with the arms as well. As you bring your arms up, really feel that tighten through the core. Good, very nice. And again, if you are starting out from scratch, just have that little lift with the heels. Okay, I'm going to test your coordination on the next move. All right? 10 seconds left. So we're gonna go forward, side, back, and side, and then we're gonna change over. Okay, it looks like this. Forward, side, back, other side. Forward, side, back, side. Say it, forward, side, back, and side. Forward, side, back, and side, good, keep it going. Keep concentrating. It's not just the body that we're working, the brain as well. Forwards, side, back, side. Okay, 
then we're going to go into tap behinds. Forward, side, back and side. Okay, tap behind. This progresses very nicely into a leg curl when you feel comfortable. Legs should be nice and wide and just tapping that foot, lifting up on the toes. Excellent. Now, if you want to incorporate the arms, then you can give a gentle pull back. How are you doing at home? Hopefully you're still smiling, having a wonderful time. Okay, we're then going to go for an easy walk. So think of a low jog, but we're in contact. Okay, so from the side, lifting up on the heels, drawing in through the core, our shoulders are back. You don't have to turn, I'm just showing you. How's that feeling? And again, with the arms, you can really pump the arms here. So that you add a little bit more force to that move, a little bit more energy. Excellent. All right, we're going to be taking some quarter turns on the next move. So you're going to march it round and then we're going to be tapping it forward. Take your time with this one. If it feels too much, you're going to stay at the front, okay? where the music's going to ramp up. We're going to get a little bit more energy going. Okay, so we go. One, two, three, tap forward. One, two, three, walk it round. One, two, three, tap it forward. And one, two, three, walk it round. One, two, three, tap it forward. And one, two, three, walk it round. Take your time. Good, and again, tap forwards. Two, three, and round. Good, we tap. One, two, three, round. Here we go. Four, four, three, two, turn. Ten seconds left. One, two, now bring it back to the center. One, two, okay, basic bound, center, push down. So squeeze those legs together, squeeze in through that core. Okay, watch the arms. Pump, 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 yes. Now they're there if you want them. If you don't, just keep holding on to that bar. That bend through the knee. You are looking amazing. Okay, we're going to be going back to those quarter turns. This time we're going to do jack arms. So instead of those tap forwards. Ten seconds left. Good. Okay, we go. One, two, three, jack arms. Ready? One, two, three, walk it round. One, two, three, jack arms. Four, three, two, walk it back round. Four, three, two, jack arms. And again, four, three, two, jack. Walk it round. Good, jack arms and four, three, two, walk it. Good, and again, four, three. 
Okay, this time just come to the centre. Okay, we've got a basic, we're going to lift the arms. One and one. Now take the legs wider if that feels comfortable. If you've got no bar, this is what it's going to look like. Just come halfway, yeah? But if you've got that bar, we're going to go a little bit higher. As you lift, feel your core engage. Okay, we've got one more of our quarter turns and then we're going to be punching upwards. Good. One, two, three, punch it up. For four, three, two, other side, punch it. Good. Here we go. And four, three, two. Now, if you don't have a bar, let's try both arms. It looks like this. So four, three, two, walk it round. Good, punch. And four, three, two, and walk. Good. Now I've got my arms going out to the side. It's quite nice. Work the shoulders. Four, three, two, take it round. You make this your own class. Here we go. Four, three, two, good. Ten seconds. And again, four, three, two. Let's come back to the centre. Okay, hands on. This time, little heels. Heel, heel. So, turning your heel out to the side, and I'm actually turning with my body. Arms, you can have in like windscreen wiper arms, I like to call them. Another heel dig. I'm not very dancey, so this is good for me. We are ploughing through this workout. You are doing amazing at home. Keep it going. Turn, turn. Remember that turn is optional. If it makes you feel dizzy, turn, just turn, stay turn. at the front. Okay, we're going to go into single jacks. So I'm going to show you without the bar first. Jack, jack. Okay. So just that little tap out to the side. If you've got your bar, you can just do it this way. It's whatever feels good. I actually prefer not to use the bar on this one. And if you feel confident, why not try a jumping jack? So both arms together. You can even go jack, jack. So you just still tap out with the legs, but you've got those double arms for a little bit more impact. Okay, I'm gonna go back to those single arms. Okay, we're just going to do a basic and circle the arms. One, two, three, other side, and one, two, three, good, and again, and one, two, three, other side, one, two, three, good, keep going, one, I'm going to go the other way now, good, and again, so just mix it up, make it your own, one, two, three, other side, and one, two, let's even try both arms, ready, one, two, three, and back, and one, two, three, there's no rules here, and one, two, three, and back, and again, ten seconds left, I always like to take a nice deep breath 
in. Okay, step touch for two and two heel digs. Step and tap, heel, heel. Step, step, heel, heel. Step, step, heel, heel. Good. Keep that in your head. Step, step, heel, heel. Tap, tap. Or just go with a step touch if that's easier. Sometimes I just lose my way, but it doesn't matter. I kind of get a bit absorbed with the music, having a wonderful time. Okay, forward and back going to work on a diagonal okay so we go forward back diagonal diagonal center good now turn the other way how's that feel center center turn turn center good now turn good so small movements center center turn and turn Center, center, turn, turn. Good, very nice. Center, center. So don't come too far away from your bar. Without the bar, center, center, a little turn. Center, center, excellent. Ten seconds left. Good, keep pushing. Okay, we are done. Just take that little march, 20 minutes. How quickly did that fly by? How are you feeling? Do you have a little bit more confidence when it comes to your rebounder? I really hope so. Okay, we're going to take a few stretches if you are happy to stay with me. If you've got other workouts planned, off you go. Have a wonderful time. So much. Okay, we're going to take the legs wide. Now, if you have a bar, you can lean on the bar for this hamstring stretch. Okay, if you don't have a bar, then you can always hold on to the edge of the trampoline. Or if that doesn't feel safe, I want you to come off. Do this on the floor, maybe use a worktop or a chair just so that you've got something to support you. Good. Okay, bringing it back up. We're going to take one leg forward and then we're going to sit back into that leg, bringing the heel up of the leg that is forward, gently holding onto your bar. You can feel that stretch up your calf muscle going into the hamstring. Good, and then we swap it over. So I hope this is a workout that you can come back to time and time again. Even when you are comfortable rebounding, use it as a warm up. Push down harder through that mat. Get more of a workout involved. Okay, we're going to come to the side. Now holding onto your bar, you can take a leg if this is possible. Holding onto that foot so that we get that good, um, good thigh stretch. If this isn't possible, you can always just rest your foot on your rebounder. That may be enough for you. You may already be able to feel that stretch. Okay, let's turn it round. Other side. and release, give it a little shake out. Now, I'm gonna go for glutes. This is a different one. If you've got your bar, see if you can take your ankle above your knee and then just gently take a seated position. Ooh, the 
straight away I start to feel that here. Now, if that's not possible, you come down, you can sit on the edge of your trampoline, see if you can get your ankle up again, and then you can just lightly apply some pressure and push into that glute. This is such an amazing stretch to do. Glutes are really important. We need to stretch them out as well as our hamstrings so that we don't get any lower back problems, sciatica, anything like that. Okay, excellent. So if you're in that seated position, you're going to change it over. If not, coming up, take the ankle above the knee. That is really important. And then just gently take that seat and hold your bar this way, whatever's going to be comfortable. Push in that knee away. We don't want it to ride up. We want it to go away. Excellent, and release. Okay, a little stretch for the arms. Bring one arm across, and then the other side. Excellent, roll your shoulders. Take a deep breath in, let's circle, and then we're just gonna bring our hands down. And that is us done for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Please drop me a comment below. Let me know what you thought of this workout. Was it helpful? And if you need any other classes that are fairly similar to this, please check out our beginners playlist on our YouTube channel. Or you can come over to our website. We've got a whole beginner section there. And we've also got some rebounds and packages that you can buy. Five videos for the cost of 25 pounds I think it is and then you get to keep those for life and these are videos that you won't find on YouTube. Okay, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much and I'll see you on the next workout. Take care.